bit of deja vu right now. January 2023, we sat here, hopefully you did, and you watched the video on the 2023 shortened releases, at least the ones we knew up front to start the year. My thoughts, and I thought maybe it was just me. Maybe it was just me not being moved by a whole lot. And you know what? It's nice to know I'm not alone. I wasn't alone in that video. You guys said, hey, you're not alone. A lot of things just aren't moving me. And that's for a number of reasons. Listen, and you guys share those reasons in the comments. And I really appreciate any time you engage in the comment section of the videos. Also, be sure to hit the like button anytime you like the video and subscribe if you're not, if you want to see more videos. But I wasn't alone. It had nothing necessarily to do with a shoe being trash or terrible because what I think is a, is a bad shoe in relation to my style and what I appreciate in the sneaker, you may think it's the greatest thing ever. I've already said, I'm not interested and don't care about Galaxy Foams coming back. A lot of you will. Also, resellers will, and they'll understand that you want them. So I'm wishing you the best of luck on that drop when it actually happens in 2024. But for Jordan releases in 2023, I haven't really made... A whole i mean what what did i have the jordan 3 i have the reimagined 3 and i think that's actually it now there are other drops that i'm very excited about that are on the horizon we have gray day coming up which i'll hopefully get a chance to discuss that in another upcoming video but for jordan releases in 2023 i'm not alone and not wanting a lot of what i see fall 2023 lineup dropped in yeah, this energy is pretty consistent. So let's just run through them really quickly. I am always curious, you know, uh, your thoughts. Please be sure to share them. Also keep in mind, my opinion on this shoe will not be swayed by <laughs> any comment of it being really good or really bad. And my decision to not go after pairs shouldn't have an effect on you either. All right, let's go. This one actually made the cut, I believe, for me to discuss in January 2023, and it's a no still. So the University Blue Air Jordan 1 High. I have the former pair that already dropped. I also have the Obsidian pair. So I myself won't go after these, but the fact that you essentially have... We, we know the bread toe. Okay, so it's a UNC toe. That's how I think of it. So you have the UNC toe one. That's what I'll call it. A lot of people, I know you'll go after that. Trust me, I'm wishing you the best of luck on any pairs you want. That pair is just absolutely not for me. The Air Jordan 1 OG High Palomino is what I'm guessing is the proper way to pronounce that. And it's so funny because on High Snobiety, they said it smells like an L already. It's likened to a sibling of the mocha ones and no i don't own those and as much as i would like to own the mocha ones i'm not paying that price just for a very basic air jordan one like i'm not personally i'm not could i i could i did a whole video on i passed on paying resale for the mocha ones to instead pay down my student loan debt so the palomino one i i just don't see it as like this burning deep desire need that's just me Go ahead and comment your thoughts below, uh, but that's set to drop in September, so heading right into uh, the really fall itself. The Air Jordan 1 Praline, I believe this is a women's drop, it has to be, based on the laces now. Satin laces reminds me of the Nike Sakai LD Waffle, the black nylon pair that I have because they have very similar laces in those. Those laces are great. They really jazz up the sneaker. If you wanna dress it up a little bit, Ladies, it's a really nice touch on the sneaker itself. Will I go for those? That that's a that's a that's a maybe. I would likely have to move something off of my list. We know that I'm I'm trying my best to not like go over 15 pairs this year in 2023. So the praline could happen <laughs> in theory though. I'm actually allergic to the what the definition of a praline is, okay? I am allergic to pecans and almonds and like regular just tree nuts. Yeah, I actually can't have those. Uh, it, it, it spells trouble for me in terms of my health. But with this colorway by the women's team, I would also guess the quality is top notch. Very similar to the Air Jordan 1 women's starfish that we, re we received last year in 2022. So... I'll have to keep my eye out for the praline pair. Now we know I am excited for this one. The Air Jordan 1 low black toe. I am very excited for that one. It's just a classic cut down to size in a low format. So that's in July, which I'm not really sure why they included this for the fall lineup because that is clearly summer. But hey, uh, it is what it is. The Air Jordan 1 atmosphere gray. Part of me is just thinking why? I And again, not that I think it's a bad shoe, but I would question myself, why are you buying this? Because what is it serving? 
absolutely positively nothing so the atmosphere gray no like doesn't move me at all even with the unc to chicago one now remember the high came out that was a women's pair great quality really buttery but i don't know that i see myself wearing these a whole lot and i'm still in the process of trying to clean out pairs i have six pairs that are sitting over here to my right right now as i'm filming this and trying to declutter so those um, it's it's leaning to a no and if i'm leaning towards a no for pairs in 2023 i'm trying to stick with that and keep it a no so as of right now it's a no for those the air jordan 2 low university blue great looking pair just not a need. This is the theme, okay? I've been consistent in my theme for 2023. I'm not in love with these. They look good. They're a crisp pair of twos. If you like them, awesome. We knew the two agenda would be pushed heavy. They are sticking to that. The Air Jordan 3 or Wood Brown. No, like just no, just no. Not that I have a problem with earth tones. You guys can look behind me. I have no problem with earth tones, but an earth tone Jordan 3 isn't something that I need. And the, now this is supposed to be like the highlight, as they are saying in here, of the fall 2023 preview. The women's Air Jordan 4 froze moments or frozen moments. I feel like it's missing an icy outsole. Like that would scream frozen moments to me. And that's not um, what we see. It's, it's like, it, I, I get the, the metallic aesthetic. We have suede on here. Frozen moments isn't doing anything for me. Like I'm, I'm still just kind of frozen sitting here outside of like the two pairs that I said I, I, I'm very interested in. And one of them is really a summer release. Uh, the Air Jordan 5 Burgundy, we've had this discussion before in relation to myself and Jordan 5s. There's just not a whole lot of fives that I want uh, personally. The Air Jordan 7 Chambray, the only seven that I still want has to do with the Olympic 7. So not for me. I know the pair of people are losing their minds over, however, the Air Jordan 8 Playoffs. I learned that eights are just really not for me. Outside of the Dornbecker pair that I have, I've learned that eights are necessarily not for me. Maybe it's because of their tighter fit, having to size up, which I've already done a video on that, discussing sometimes it really helps to size up um, so you don't have this really constricted fit in your sneakers itself. I get it. You had Jordan wearing these in 1993. So you'll have some people that will buy these just because of that allure alone. Listen, listen, I understand. I get it. I don't need these. I don't personally. So there are a lot of pairs you all will not have to fight TJ for at least for a size six and a half in men's or maybe even a seven for some pairs that I would need to go up in even more. And then finally, the Air Jordan 12 Field Purple. If people turn these into Kobe uh, uh, the pairs to commemorate Kobe, then I actually have a lot of respect for that. If you have a customizer, really just go all in on this pair. But for 12s, the Cherry 12 is the 12 that I would want. So I'm holding pretty firm. I'm holding pretty firm to myself. Now you'll have tons of creators, guys. Tons of creators will have early looks on these. They'll have them in hand, on foot, give you their thoughts. And by all means, please go and support those creators to see them because I have a follow-up video about viewers constantly asking creators to review shoes they want them to review. That's a follow-up video on the way soon. I'm not sure if it'll come out this week or next week, but please stay tuned. I really appreciate any time you spend here on the channel. Thank you again so much. Uh, be sure to hit the like button if you like any of the content. Check out recent videos, especially me finally acquiring, acquiring a grail in the 2018 Nike Fear of God 1 and much more on the way. I also dropped a how to lace or how I knot my laces tutorial. So hopefully that's helpful too. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.